What's up, Blade fam? So have you been dealing with negative energy and you don't know what to do with it? Well, today we're gonna to be covering how to do negative grinds. So perhaps you can turn that negative into a positive. What is a negative? Real quick, let's run over the different types of uh, sides or plates or grooves, I guess you could say, on the boot. So typically when we grind, we grind on the sole. So these would be your sole tricks. Whenever we go top side, you're then grinding on the frame, which is the top side. Well now, we are gonna start talking about the negative. Now if you look at the negative, or the negative sole on the boot, you'll notice that it's pretty tight. It's very uh, tight compared to the right side. So what I've figured out is a negative really isn't about this plate as much as it is about the frame. You see, you have more to lock on on the frame than you do on the negative aspect of the boot. So when performing this grind, we're gonna go over the negative Machio today. Keep in mind that you have more to slide on this part of the frame rather than this part of the boot. All right, let's see how this trick locks in real quick. All right, so here we are, we got this nice little ledge. Now when it comes to negatives, negatives tend to be very or more challenging on round obstacles or a round ledge. Now when you've got a nice square edge, whether it be a square rail or a square ledge, those are the things that you probably wanna learn on. So if you look, if you were to work this boot and only focused on the downward part of this grind like you do in Soul Tricks, you would see that there's a lot to miss and not enough to, to hold you on. That's why I wanted to bring your attention to the frame. Because if you look at it from this way, then this way. So this trick is really about knowing how to distribute your weight and balance so that way more pressure is emphasized on the frame rather than the boot. It's enough talking, let's go ahead and get the skates on. All right guys, now that we got the skates on, let's talk about the approach. The approach is just as, or similar to all the other grinds, you're gonna have a nice little angle to it. Have that arch in mind as you're approaching. You're gonna to wanna to think of it as an arch. The lock-in, now when I was learning this, I practiced kind of having one foot to the side. So this grind, even though it's kind of mentally weird, you do have this other foot. This other foot, <laughs> lost my voice there. So kind of practice stalling this. As you see, I'm putting a little training wheel next to it. Helps me figure out the balance point with my right foot. After you've locked that a couple of times, go ahead and take some speed to it. So you can see how that training wheel off to the side helps you maintain your balance. After you've gotten that, you've gotten the lock a couple of times, you've got the training wheel there. You can practice getting on the out. You can come out forward or you can pivot into it. So remember, your pressure in this grind isn't down. It's not a down. It's pushing into the ledge, keeping that knee centered over your boot. So since you're pushing into the ledge, you can create some sidewards momentum to push you off and come out fakey. Now, because this is a one-footed grind, Technically, it doesn't count unless you grab it, which means almost all of my negatives I do don't count. So why do I even do them? They're still fun. I don't think it really matters whether you grab this trick or not, but sticking to traditional practices, if you don't grab a fish, if you don't grab a torque, and if you don't grab a backslide, they don't count. Well, this is another one-footed trick. So let's talk about the grab. When you're in this trick, to grab it, you see what happens there? Because I'm pulling this, what's up with my voice? Because I'm pulling this foot up, this foot wants to go out that way. So it kinda has to happen all at once. As you're coming into this trick, you are gonna grab it and push 
against that grab with this foot. So if you notice or pay attention to this part of it, I am pushing this foot over and grabbing this foot back. So it creates this. The thing about skating after 30 that you will notice the most is that when it comes to grab tricks, your back just doesn't just doesn't bend the way it used to. Quick tip, doing this stretch daily will help you open up that back so you can grab no problem. Okay, so that's gonna sum up today's tutorial, turning those negatives into positives. I personally learned this trick actually when, or while dealing with negative energy in parks. Anytime I start feeling judged or hated on because I'm a rollerblader in a park, that's when I would actually take that energy and work on negatives, turning negatives into positives. It's actually a really fun grind. I like the way this slides. Three quick points on it. Remember that you're grinding or sliding more on the frame, less on the boot. Remember to have that inward pressure on this slide and to have this hand out as a counterbalance. So you're gonna have this arm out while you're pushing this foot in and pulling this foot up. So it's kind of a Z or a zigzagged movement. I hope you found these trick tips useful. Get out there and practice the negatives. Remember you can do training wheels. So having this foot locked in and that foot up like that, or you can be real old school and bring it to the back. I don't know if I can do that. Real quick. Woo. Sorry, didn't know if I could do that or not. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Give me a thumbs up if this gets you out doing negative slides or negative grinds. Thanks again for all the love and support. If you haven't already, subscribe below. Give me a thumbs up. Hit that notification bell. Be like a little alarm clock anytime I launch a video. Again, thanks for all the love and support. Till next time, keep the blade alive. Aloha.